Hi everyone. Hope you're doing okay. As for me, I'm kind of blah today. <sighs> Something happened yesterday. It just sort of messed with me and it's been on my mind ever since. So I figured it might as well talk about it today. Again, I want to start by apologizing. Uh, they're working in the apartment above me again. Um, it always seems like whenever I want to record and talk to you guys, that's when they start doing work. So forgive me. Um, but uh, last night when I got done leaving a video on here talking to you guys, there was um, a large police presence in my neighborhood. And it turned out that there was a young man down the street about five doors away from me who was shot in the leg. And uh, there was a huge commotion and there were police and fire trucks and ambulances and everyone out from their houses on the street, like standing room only. Um, I was in my house, my windows were down, but my air conditioning was on. So I didn't really hear much. I just saw all the sirens and something caught the corner of my eye and I looked up and I noticed the commotion. I told Mike about it and of course he ran downstairs um, because he said uh, he was going to be nosy and he wanted to know what was going on. I had overheard someone when I turned off the air say that a gentleman, a young man had been shot and um, it really just got me down and made me very nervous and sad. And I had quite a few emotions um, when that happened. Um, it's shocking when you hear about it on the news, but it's like super shocking when it happens so close to you. You have so many questions. You wonder if you know the person. Uh, you wonder if you know who did it. You wonder why it happened. And um, I just thought it was incredibly sad. And it struck me how when you live in a neighborhood, you see people that go by you every day. I live in a busy um, city, in a busy part of the city. Um, so I see people all the time. And um, most of the times, people don't say much to each other when they walk by. You know, um, I'm someone that always says hello. And there's quite a few friendly people that say hello or at least nod when they go by you. But for the most part, people pretty much keep to themselves or they're busy with their phones or with whoever they're with. And they really don't give you a second glance. Um, but it's always amazing to me whenever there's a crisis or a police presence, um, you always see your neighbors. I can remember being a kid and the police coming to our house and you'd see all the porch lights flick on. And you'd see people peek through the door because they couldn't wait to get a bird's eye view of what was going on at your house. And um, I can remember once someone calling the police on us when we were kids. And um, my mother, she was so cool. She um, came out on the porch and she told the police officers, um, well, I see you've met our nosy neighbors. And I thought that was great. Um, we weren't doing anything wrong. We were just kids that were out late and we were making too much noise. We were on our property, but we were giggling and making a lot of noise. And my mother was in the house, but it was late at night and we were probably told to stay on the porch and we didn't. And the neighbors didn't like it and they called the police. And I remember my mother distinctly telling the police, oh, well, I see you've met our nosy neighbors. And one time she went into a speech about how uh, they were always so quick to judge that she didn't have control over us, but that she noticed that she, they, knew, they knew she was a single mother, but none of them ever offered to help keep an eye on us or to just say hello, you know, but you always notice your neighbors when there's something going on. And I always picked up a saying that said, if you ever really want to know what's going on in your life, ask your neighbors because they generally know more about you than you even know about you, or at least the preconceived notions of you. 
and it's always very strange. So that's what really struck out to me yesterday was the mobs of people that were crowded around. And I'm sure a lot of it has to do with people wanting to videotape police to make sure that things go smoothly, which I really don't want to make my video, my channel be about police brutality or anything like that. But I'm sure we all have our opinions. And um, I do think it's important to keep people in power accountable. Um, so I'm sure there were some people out there for that, but there's just this morbid curiosity we have with wanting to know what's going on with other people's lives. Um, I didn't go outside. I was in the house, very nervous, saying a prayer for the young man. I did see him come out on the stretcher. He looked okay. It struck me how young he was. Um, and I do, I did say a prayer and hope that he would be okay. Um, I'm no expert, but it didn't look like he was in any life threatening danger. Um, but it did make me think about guns and guns in the hands of stupid and violent people and how crime has just gotten out of hand lately. And I don't know the backstory. Maybe this person did something and this was retaliation. Maybe this was gang related. I don't know what the problem was, but um, I do know that no one deserves to be hurt. Um, so uh, I don't know what the whole reasoning behind it was, but it did make me think. And, you know, I grew up in this area that I live in now and I went away for, oh, 20 years and I moved to the suburbs and I would always hear people rat on people who lived in the city and how bad the crime had become and everything. And I always felt like I wanted to protect the city because that's where I was from, you know, and I was from the West side. So I was proud of where I came from. And I always thought people were just, you know, paranoid or bigoted or prejudiced and had their, you know, own issues. That's why they didn't want to go into the city. But when you see things turn around and you remember the way they used to be, um, it does make you take a step back and wonder how things have changed. Um, it did make me feel unsafe um, with it being only five doors away from me. It makes me grateful that I live in an apartment building that has security. Um, it did make me feel safe that to know that I'm not young anymore, I'm not running on the streets, that I'm old and set my ways. Um, so it did make me feel a little more um, relieved in that. I'm glad that I have a partner that's very protective of me and that, um, again, I'm more reserved and laid back. I don't, you know, live on the streets like I did when I was a kid, you know, running around and that, that you could really appreciate I could really appreciate my middle-agedness <laughs> and my boring life <laughs> that I was here safe making a video talking to you guys instead of being outside and God forbid be caught in the crossfire. Um, but it did make me think about crime and how the world is ever changing. And, you know, I'm not going to begin to say that it's more violent now than it's ever been. I mean, violence has been around since the beginning of time, you know, but um, it does make you appreciate your own safety and make you evaluate the things in your life and the people in your life. And it made me want to um, be grateful that I have a nice, safe place to live and I, I don't have any enemies that I know of. <laughs> um, and it made me appreciative of it. It made me appreciate maturing and growing up and getting past all those nonsense things I did as a youngster. Um, I think, you know, you hear that saying so much when you're young. I wish I could be 20 and know what I know now. And I never understood what that meant. But looking at it as a 46 year old, I totally get it now. Um, with age does come wisdom and I'm so appreciative of it, of making it to the stage of my life that I'm at 
and being safe. Um, and I wish that for everyone. So um, to anyone that lives in an area where there is crime or for people that have witnessed crimes, um, I know how scary that can be. And I sympathize. I really do. And um, I think it's important to say hello to your neighbors and don't only show up when there's some, like, juicy gossip, you know. Show up and be kind, you know. Um, offer to bring the newspaper in for someone or maybe go and get a cup of coffee with someone. Get to know your neighbors so that they're not just seeing you when there's some drama going on. These are people that live in your neighborhood. Maybe it would be wise to get to know them and have at least a social interaction with them. You know, um, let's not be strangers if we can help it. And I don't know what people think about snitching or anything like that. But of course, if you see something, say something. I mean, you would want someone to do that for you. So why not do that in turn? So I don't know if the person or persons that know what happened are ever going to watch my channel, but um, to the person that was shot, I am sincerely sorry, and I do hope that you recover well, and for the people that may have been responsible for it, do the right thing and turn yourself in, and um, to the police, thank you for watching over us and um, keeping the streets safe as you possibly can. And to all of you, thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope it finds you well. And until I talk to you again, take care and be safe, please. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.